Okay, so we just got done installing this. This is a uh, a ditch bank flail mower on this uh, this Coyote tractor back here, and the concern was that it'd be too big and heavy for the machine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flex it out here, move it all around, just see how it does. See if it's acting like it's stressing that machine out too much. Uh, this is a a Titan. Let's turn this around. This is a Titan ditch bank flail mower, so it'll flex out this way. It'll do this kind of stuff. All that stuff. This is a 145 flail DB. Those numbers and letters mean nothing. This is a 65 inch wide unit, 57 inch wide cut. Um, the tractor it's going on is a Coyote CK series. So a CK 4020. Um, I'll stand next to the tractor so you can kind of see <clears throat> size wise how big this thing is. It's about a 3,500 pound machine. So here I am standing next to the tractor. The concern was that this tractor wouldn't be able to handle this flail mower. The flail's too big and heavy for it. So I'm going to flex it out and we're just going to see how it does. Okay, I think it handles it pretty good actually. I was kind of surprised. You know, the tractor weighs about 3,500 pounds and it wasn't bouncing and shaking all over with that thing hanging back there. Um, hydraulics handled it fine. I was actually kind of shocked. I thought we'd need a smaller one, but boy, we get a lot of, lot of off or a uh, lot of clearance from the back tire. Now, something you do have to be careful when you're doing these is, is this PTO shaft, it can hit stuff here when this thing's flexed in different uh, geometries. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised it handles this flail pretty good. Uh, get it out to the customer and see how it cuts for them. That's it, man, the, uh, the Titan ditch bank flail mower.